sketch this out. So just kind of finding a vertical, vertical going one direction, estimating the vanishing point, going the other direction for the length of this, and then trying to pick a piece. So I'm going to go with the almost like a shelf that this has on it. It tapers itself to the front, goes off to the side, and it kind of tapers back as a fluted section there. And then this goes back so. And this metal bracket coming up. And that also holds together a flathead screw and the bracket beneath it. So just grabbing some detail that's helping with the direction of the perspective and the thickness of the screw. Now it'll start to get just a little bit shallower than what I started off with. So I can make that minor adjustment piece in there. As it goes down the side, <coughs> it tapers a bit. So I'll make that adjustment there. And it does have the center, so if you did find the center, at least to give you some sense of proportion, to place it in there. And again, modifying it, making it a little shorter here. But it has the screws for the positive and negative, so you're kind of offsetting it a little bit, building that section in there. This part on mine has the screw coming up. Slowly build that piece up, and the parts of the back are a little bit blurry, slightly blurry. So here's the left and the front side of it. Now I can concentrate on the top. But to set it up, I'm going to put some of the perspective lines in there. Again, find the center, but this is already found from this X box right here. And now I just have to find the base. Curve it straight to here. So that gives me the extra height that I need. I'm just repeating that shape going up and it's straight on the back. And those lines will help the line the whole back. <clears throat> so there's the elevated section right off to the top. And it repeats itself back on this edge here. Curving that. Going across. Getting the back curve. And right down the middle, these have like a little keyhole right there. And then it sets up the rectangular sections in between this. There, like so. And that's the divot inside. If you can project that down along this edge. We'll do the same. Shows the hole there. So pretty much have it laid out. <clears throat> it's just a matter of going back and trying to heavy up some of these lines. This time I'm going to use the straight edge to help me shade some of this piece in. Slowly builds that section out. Finding some of these details, like these screw heads, are kind of a additional piece here. down 
here. And this kind of has a little bit of a rounded fillet, is what they call it. kind of use the straight edge to realign all these parts. in there. There. <clears throat> Again, use your straight edge to help you shade is good. Yeah. 